guys, it's Candy, and we are having such a gorgeous day in South Florida. I wish you all could be here, and we would just have a big pool party. It is so gorgeous that I even wanted to film this outside, but I think the breeze would, like, really mess up the audio. But it is so gorgeous here. My little dogs don't even want to stay in the house, so I've had to open the doors so they could run in and out in the backyard to play. It's just so, so, so beautiful and just oh, amazing. So... I thought I would share that with you guys, and while we're sharing, I figured that I would share a few products that I got in the last couple weeks that I just really, really have already fallen in love with, and thought I would share those with you guys. So, you know, everybody was talking about the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, and I have bought every Vice palette, and Vice 2 is by far my favorite palette ever, ever, ever. Of all of my palettes, Vice 2 is my favorite palette. I use it all the time. We, we've talked about that before, right? So, when the Vice 3 palette came out, I liked the colors, but once again, I was trying to, like, maintain um, a dollar in the bank, so I didn't go grab it. Um... Well, I kind of lost control and went and got it. I just had a really shitty day, I think, on Friday. I don't remember what day now. And so I said, I'm going to Ulta because I need to get some Batiste. I was out of the Batiste dry, dry shampoo that I use, which is one of my favorite things if you've watched that video. Um, so I was like, oh, I need to go get some Batiste. And I'd seen in their, thi in their like flyer that it was buy one, get one half off. So that was my excuse to go to Ulta. In the meantime, I had been, like, obsessing over a Vice 3 palette all day. If you go look at my Twitter, you'll see I just t tweeted about it all day. And I broke down. Yeah, it was definitely Friday, I remember. And I broke down and went and got it. So I got it. Um, uh, today is now Wednesday, and I haven't used it yet. Today was the first day I used it. I used it for my makeup today. But um, I've got to tell you, Urban Decay does it again. I love, love, love their makeup. I mean, especially their eyeshadows and primers. They are out of this world. The quality is always on point. Um, I, I just can't, I don't have anything bad to say about it. So I want to show you the box that it came in. Look how pretty this box is, right? And then on the back of the box, of course, it shows the colors so that when you're in the store or wherever, you can look, you know, you can look at the different colors. Of course, they look different in person than they do on a box. But the packaging, of course, as usual, is gorgeous from Urban Decay. Which, I mean, packaging alone will sell. I, I will buy things based on packaging alone because um, I'm weird like that, right? I mean, that's what it's for, right? Advertising and to get you to buy stuff. So when you open it up, you get a bag with like a, like a little cosmetic bag. It's in a little pouch. Um, which I think is so cute. I mean, this one is just so cute. I think I'm going to put my brushes in it for when I travel. Um, so, of course, you open it up. And you've all seen it by now. I'm late on the bandwagon with this. But I tried to wait. And, um, yeah, it's gorgeous, guys. Look at this. Look. Just look how gorgeous this is. I mean, it is so pretty in the back, too. I'm trying not to where you can't see the camera. Okay, and the back two, it's just so, so, so pretty. It shines. It's just so, so pretty. And then, of course, let's open it. And there are your colors. I haven't used the brush in this because I love, I love Urban Decay brushes. So I have so many and um, I didn't open the brush with this. And if you look right here on this one, you, you have to be on this one right here. Can you see? You have to make sure that you are um, not too hard sometimes in some of them. That's a lot of eyeshadows, but like this one in particular, sometimes I, I don't know if I'm just, uh, I don't pay attention or whatever, but sometimes I'm a little bit hard on them, so it kind of, a little bit, but I mean the colors are just beautiful. You can wear them any time of the year. They're kind of fall to me. I think they're kind of fall to me, but I do have the electric palette. Um this one I have the I do have this one too this electric palette is it back oh it's upside down okay I do have the electric palette too so if I want bright bright colors I use this typically um right look at that you can even chalk your hair like color your hair with this um but I, I'm just I'm just throwing that in there too um just to just to let you guys know that they have so many different things but this vice three palette like if you haven't got it i i mean once again i just want to show you that the colors are absolutely okay the colors are absolutely incredible 
Um, I'm wearing about three of them today. You can't really tell, I guess, that far away, but um, it's it's great. They're beautiful colors, and I have nothing bad to say about Urban Decay, as usual. Great, great, great products. So, um, another product that I know I got this one a while back, actually. I got this, I would say, a couple months ago, but um, I wasn't really using it. Um, I'm kind of in a transition period with my eyebrows. When I was a kid, I blew out a candle and it kind of singed my eyebrows a little bit. So they've never really grown back. You know, I have always had to kind of like, well, used to sh sharpie them in as we would call it. But like, you know, we used to like draw them on or not wear any at all. I don't know, whatever. You know, we go through crazy phases, girl. That's just what happens, right? So now the big thing is powder, like filling them in and I mean, I'm still learning, and, and I'm still on and off with it. Sometimes I'd rather have, like, hardly, because I have very light, um, thin, I would say thin eyebrows. So, uh, I feel better when they're done, but I also kind of feel, I don't know, I'm so confused with it, I don't, I bought whatever. this powder, um, because it was recommended to me. It's the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. And it has a wax in here and then two different colors of powder and like a wand, like a mascara wand. So, I mean, I have very short eyebrows, so I don't need that or the wax. But if you had like longer eyebrows and needed to like um, shape them, you know, the actual eyebrow, that's what that would be for. And then it comes with a little angled brush with it. Um, it's, it's pretty good, actually. I mean, it's pretty good quality. Um easy to use. I feel that it, um, I feel that it's, that it's pretty, pretty nice. So I've been using it. I want to try the Benefit one, um, but I'm afraid I'll get addicted to the whole line and then that's several hundred dollars at once. So I'm trying to do baby steps, baby steps. Baby yeah, steps. guys, so I picked up this NYX HD Studio Primer in this bottle. It's a little pump, if you want to see. It's like a, it's, it pumps. Um, and you put it on before you put your foundation on. And this one is really, really good. It doesn't feel the same as the one I had before, because I tried this before, too. And it's, um, this one's more, like, silky. This one's more of, like, a matte primer. But um, I think I like this one better. I think, um, but they're both great and pretty inexpensive for primers, so you can check that out, and then I also picked up this weekend NYX two soft matte lip creams, and they look like this, um, this is what I have on right now, actually, and it's called Addis Ababa, I guess. Adis Ababa. I, I can't ever pronounce this shit, man. So here, that's what you, that's what it says, okay? I also have a nude one, but it's in my purse, which I'm going to do a what's in my purse video after this one, so you could check that out if you like. But um, I love these. Love these, love these, love these. I am going to go buy so many more of these. They're buy one, get one, 50% off of Ulta right now, and I am in love with these. They're called Lip creams soft matte lip creams and a lot of mattes leave streaks in in it like i have their matte lipstick i have nyx matte lipstick and it leaves streaks so i don't really use it um but this is it's so thick and creamy guys like oh, there you go it's so thick and creamy and when you put it on i don't know if you can tell here it's just, it just stay this has been on for like an over an hour and it's still it's still pretty incredible. So, yeah, guys, this stuff is good. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, good. Um, while I was at Ulta, the last thing I got at Ulta was, remember I told you I need to get some Batiste, but I typically get the original Batiste, but um, they had a whole bunch of different ones. And this one, this cherry one, oh my gosh, girls, you do not know. Oh my gosh, girls. This is incredible. 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 Not only, not only does it like help, do you know, I mean, dry shampoo, like if you don't get to wash your hair every day, girl, like you could spray this in and it's like gives you life. And not only that, it's like, it's like heaven. It smells, oh, it's so good. 
Can we just take a minute for this? Really? Oh my goodness, girls. It is so, so, so good. So good. Can you smell that? I mean, it, well, you know, you, you got to try it. Also right now, buy one, get one at Ulta, 50% off. And you get a little baby one with it. Um, you get a little like travel one with it too. Uh, so, so that's a good, that's a good deal right now. That's a good deal right now, ladies. That's a good deal right now, ladies. And the last thing really right now that I got that I have sworn by, I have already done a, a video on it to show you guys how wonderful it is, but I'm just going to mention it again. If you go look in my videos, you will see that I have, um, vlogged about the magic eraser it's a face makeup eraser magic i don't remember what it's called face makeup eraser i will link them below girl oh i can't even tell you i can't even tell you i did a video on it go check it out i mean it was a first impressions video but all i have to tell you is this right here yeah it's dirty right here because i used it last night but let me tell you First of all, it's a pretty big cloth, as you can tell. It's not like a, it's not like a tiny, it's not like a tiny cloth. Um, so that's first. Second, all you have to do is put this in water. No Bioderma, no Neutrogena, no CoverGirl, whatever to take off your makeup. I don't even know all the products, but I usually use Bioderma and I'm sad to have to stop using it. Actually, I kind of feel like a whore. I kind of, I kind of feel like a cheating whore on Bioderma with this. But I paid twenty dollars for this. Twenty one seventy seven is what I paid for this. She did a um, no shipping promotion, so I didn't have to pay shipping. But my total was twenty one seventy seven for this baby. And I am telling you guys, I literally just you just put water on it and wipe it off. Like it's like it melts away. I loved it so much. The next, I think in a couple days afterwards, she did like another sale and I immediately bought one for my sister and sent one to her because not only does she wear makeup, but her boyfriend is um an actor for like a haunted houses. So he's made up every night and it takes them forever to get the makeup off. And I cannot wait till they get this and try this. I'm gonna actually maybe ask them to film a testimonial for you guys. So that's incredible, incredible, incredible. I will link all of these products below or at least list all of these products below for you guys so that you can check them out if you like. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but this ne necklace I'm wearing is so, so, so cute. Um, once again with my so, so, so cute. But this necklace I'm wearing is so cute. Um, just to give you an idea up close, it is a locket and my very dear friend Gina Black makes these and sells these. Um, if you're interested in them, once again, I will put her link below. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'm Candy Callistar all around the world. And until next time, take care, guys.